the commercial heart of downtown Bangkok was overtaken by flag-waving protesters starting Sunday evening when organizers set up stages and sound systems at rally sites across the city. Those gathered see the shutdown as a last resort measure to force a corrupt government from office. Rawit Sriwilai came from nearby Samutprakan province to join the protesters. We come here today to show that the government has no legitimacy to govern the country anymore. It must reform before election. In the past, there was a lot of corruption. Supportive Thai celebrities, as well as politicians, including former Prime Minister Abhisit Wajajiwa and other opposition leaders, drew roars of approval from crowds eager to send a message that the government is failing and new elections will not fix the problem. While that stance has drawn skepticism from many who say the demonstrators are undermining Thailand's democracy, protester Jirawadi Kanamoto says another vote will merely maintain the status quo. We want election, yeah, but not right now. <laughs> yeah, it's we, our country is not ready for election. As we know, if, if it's happened, it's not a fair election. Yeah. It's not a fair vote, for sure. Same people will come back. It remains unclear if protesters will be able to continue drawing huge crowds until the elections more than two weeks from now. But they are organized and prepared. Vendors sell protest-themed t-shirts and accessories in the colors of Thailand's flag. Protest security guards help keep order, and hot free meals are prepared for the thousands camped at the main rally sites. With thousands in the streets and passions running high, security remains a key concern. Some 18,000 police and military are deployed to maintain the peace and protect government buildings. But sporadic shootings have killed eight people and wounded scores of others since the latest round of protests began late last year. Thailand's military has urged all sides to remain calm. But after launching 18 coups in the past 18 years, the possibility of another coup cannot be ruled out. This is Gabrielle Paluk reporting for VOA News in Bangkok.